Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kitty are back with some more Bayonetta 2. In the previous video, we went to the gates of hell and learned a little bit of some backstory with um, Bayonetta in a little bit. Uh, more so about her parents than anything, which is still pretty interesting, if you ask me. So, yeah, and we learned a little bit about Loki as well. I, I feel like that's not Loki. Like, that's Loki being controlled by the Prophet, or that's the Prophet pretending to be Loki, because you see his clothes are all blue and such. Or it could be the case. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get our answers eventually in this game. So let's go to the depths. Welcome to hell. Oh. <sighs> Don't have that much time left, girl. The first one and nine. Okay, so our first fight in this is one of these things. Malicious. I actually like this design for that enemy. There it is right there. Overseer of Inferno. Inferno, the cruelest, most ruthless place in existence. Humans are said to end up in this hellish world upon meeting an untimely end. In Inferno, power controls everything. War between its demonic inhabitants is endless, and it isn't uncommon for rank to quickly change hands. I've been picking up a thing or two about the place at this bar I've been frequenting. Recently, just like in our world, there are some strange things occurring, and the dozens are starting to get a little restless. The owner of this bar advised me to keep my distance. Told me it might not be a place where I can get by on my good looks alone. Like that place exists. Even if it did, it's not like I could find my way there even if I wanted to. I keep mentioning this bar, but I'll have to keep this particulars to a minimum. I made a deal with the owner that I wouldn't disclose its location. It's too good of a source of information to leak where it is anyway. Okay, just a hint. It's a bar in the same city as the office my dad left behind. The bar keeps a low profile, tucked away in one of the darker parts of town. I wouldn't say it's the best place to take a date, but the owner's always got good stories. I end up getting most of the info I'm looking for there. Doesn't come cheap, though. When you catch the bartender in a good mood, he'll tell you some strange tales. Worlds that are like something out of the kid's story to us. Paradiso Inferno speaks about them with descriptions so realistic. Okay, just want to make sure I was recording. Uh, that you could get lost in the story pretty easily, and before you know it, you've been listening to him talk the entire night. It's a strange guy, though. The few rare times I get a look past his sunglasses at those blood-stained, glowing red eyes, the gaze is so chilling I think I might freeze my very soul. He always says you won't find a nicer angel anywhere you look, but something tells me that's just your run-of-the-mill demon joke. Yep, still just missed two. All right, our first one. <laughs> Feed all enemies, which time cannot be activated. Okay. Is that all you've got? 
Definitely could have been better. Hey, I'm gonna get health anyway. Can never complain about that. Silver. I wonder how hard, how high your health can go. I'm gonna assume the Merle. Moon Pearl is just two of the, uh, two of those bars. Three more so full close. ones to get, and then I'm done with the moon pearls. Okay, I guess this was the way I was supposed to go. Got part of a witch's heart, so hey. Phantasmus man. Oh, that's a name. Name and a half.
Neat. That's verse 5, eh? I feel like I missed verse 3. Uh, the core almost appears to be glaring at me as me to prove my strength. Yeah. Ow. Balance. There is a balance that exists in all things. Finding it isn't the easiest thing in the world, but when you do, few things give you a better sense of accomplishment. Balance has a great deal of meaning to our world. Three realms our world is divided into, light, darkness, and chaos, have been carefully balanced as the trinity of realities, so as the, to not interfere with one another. Although we say three realms, they originally existed as one. The split caused the balance between these worlds to sometimes be as delicate as walking across thin ice. One realm were to eventually acquire power greater than the others, the balance of the three realms would easily fall into anarchy. There are some with the ability to travel to Purgatorio, the realm between realms, or use gates to travel back and forth between different realms, sometimes causing chaos and confusion. Irresistible use of the power can cause momental problems for the Trinity, can lead to wars between realms and devastating natural disasters. At last, at least, if I'm, if I'm to believe the world's words of a certain bartender I've been spending too much time with. Perhaps these natural disasters happening within the realms are some sign that this collapse and balance between the three realms is already underway. Which reminds me, there have been some unnatural occurrences happening to me as well that could only be explained by a crisis sweeping all realms of existence. Getting my coat stuck in the car door, getting turned down by three girls in the same week. What other reason could there be than the foul play of the balance of the trinity? Oh, Luca. Scully, Elpedia, and Phantasm there. Big spider. And just need nine now. new enemy oh my lord they're just showing them up ah swindler of progress i couldn't see the name ah not this again Ha <laughs> 
mega yellow. Angelicum Golden LP, Matthias Passion. That's an instant death? Are you fucking kidding me? Seven, right? <laughs> My first game over in a non boss fight, and I was doing instant death thing. That's some bullshit. See, the next thing is gate nine, so I got one more fight before then. Or it's like right there. You know, let's just do this one. Or was it eight? No, I think it's nine. <laughs> Defeat all enemies without taking a single hit. Okay. So close. Almost. Get up. So close. Almost. Oh, there's only one enemy. Okay. Moon Pearl? Nah, heart. What was a heart? You've been naughty. You've been naughty. Finally, a pure platinum. I honestly didn't think I was going to get it because of more so the um. That way for them, what's this way? Is 
this might be the way to go because they probably wanted you to go that way first because you'll probably fight your verse eight over there get to another piece of the LP. Platinum. And there was, there's the second third. Two thirds. So there's only one more LP to find in this game, I believe. Oh. I think this is the last enemy for this category. Ugh. Embracer of Extreme Sloth. that great Talk about a nail biter there. <laughs> yeah, that first one and that fourth one were the pain in the ass ones. It's like. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the music of this game is really good. Oh my god. Almost. Is that all you've got? So close. Got you. Fuck. Gonna be another stone one, I can already tell. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Fuck you. They could have at least saved that. That's dumb. Big of a nail biter, so I really should focus on that sloth enemy. I thought I could get up there. I was like, that felt like a thing I could get up to. Now this, I won't be surprised if the final LP is here. Fucking cunt! Alright, well, I'm not gonna bother with the, the chest. I'll do that after I beat that. That's some bullshit, man. Oh my god. 
Jesus. Okay, can you please? Oh my god! Holy mother of fuck! Oh my god! Okay, maybe I have to beat the other two things first before I can even bother with that. Holy god! That is some bullshit! I am definitely getting another stone, but on the counts of bullshit. Oh fuck you. Is that all you've got? Get up. Almost. Get up. So close. Get up. Got you. Get up. Is that all you've got? Fuck me, dude. Okay, a witch is hard. I guess I can't really complain about that. I was kind of hoping for the LP, but... Let's get this for like what was this is the third time now. That was my best time, and I think the last, the second time I got was 19 seconds. I might be mistaken. I feel like the third, the second time I did that, it was a little bit better than this time. We can all agree that both times were better than the first time, though. I had two seconds left on that one. Like, god damn. Good news is I get full health, so. Ah, damn, second bar. Oh, hello there. That almost makes me kind of want to go back to all the other ones to see if there was a chest, like, right next to them. But I'm going to say no. Why, if it ain't Bayonetta, fancy finding a witch like you in a place like this. Rodan. Don't tell me you came here to rescue me, like some kind of knight in shining armor. Rescue? Do I look like the rescuing type? If you were to kick the bucket here, 
I'd be all over your soul like a hungry hyena. <laughs> hmm. Big boy again. Right. I'll go easy on you guys. So let's have some fun. actually pretty cool. So is my target by the looks of it. Jean, there she is. Hold up. You're not seriously thinking of getting between a man and his next payday. Mm. <laughs> Chill, Bayonetta. Don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that one intact. This is the end of the level. Okay, this next one has to be a boss fight. I'm just gonna go for it. Yep. Look at it this way. Could have been worse. Yep. You know it's gonna be a frickin'. You know it's gonna be a stone. Inferno and its ruler. This has to be a boss fight, so let's just straight up do it. Chapter 11, man. Susami, Olak, Magle, Olak, Babylon, Death, the Master Gamata, Tastos, Dula, Sadhi. I came to pick up a friend. It's almost her curfew. Ah, I gotta be Madam Butterfly, of course. Are you still going to forgive me my trespasses now? What are you going to do without your precious palace? Or maybe that was just... Yeah, my Madam Butterfly is, is who it is. Not, that's not who I'm fighting. Good thing the three of us girls enjoy a good cat.
Whisperer of Dementia Alurene. Madame Butterfly, or I don't know what you did to piss her off, but whatever it was, nice. Nice. Is that all you've got? Get up! Oh, fuck me. Ugh. I almost had her. The shadow remains. This is gonna be another stone one I can. Su nah, maybe not. Is that all you've got? Got you. Get up. So close. Is that all you've got? Got you! Get up! So close! Get up! See ya! Filthy bitch. Okay, yeah, I was about to say that. I would have been a little disappointed that was the whole fight, but no, there's another phase.
Whispers of Insanity, Alorene. Alorene. Sean! <laughs> Then it's going to be a bloody coronation. Now, bloody coronation. My Umbran sister. Woman, I thought Damn, I told woman. you to chill. You've got more important shit to do than dealing with this monstrosity. Sean. Sean, get up. You're going to be late. Sean. It's time! Get up! Please, John! Wake up! There we go. John! Uh, Sir Hesa. What do you need? A wake up kiss or something? <laughs> You never were much of a morning person, were you? This... but this is... Yeah, it's Teresa. hell, but yeah. You came here to... to rescue me? Are you insane? Just a little bit. You took the words right out of my mouth. 
Let's go. Damn, girl. What's happening? You need to get back to your body and get some rest, too. Be careful, Cereza. Something... something big is going to happen to our world. Now, when you say our world, do you mean I the know. world of the Inferno or Just the world of and chaos no or what? Or turning around along the way. Thought I'd fucked up my business. <gasps> Gotta hand it to you. This is quality. The perfect palette for an artiste. Now, time to do my dirty work. <laughs> so that's how that works. Well, not very romantic. <laughs> Got a nice glow about it, don't you think? As for its power, well, you don't need me to explain the finer points of fucking shit up, do you? Fuck shit up. Hells yeah. Oh, hey, they're over there. Little one. Got them all lined up waiting to be saved, huh? Don't forget about your new toy. Hey, Platinum. Hey. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't get that continue, it would have been a fucking Platinum, wouldn't it? Man. All right. Alruna. Versus card, versus card, versus card. Nope, that's it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Bayonetta 2. In the next part, guys, probably it's another boss fight. I won't be surprised. If it is, so be it. Chapter 12. Man, we're very close to the end of the game here. Very close to the end of the game here. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give the like button a click. And comment down below. Check out the video. Don't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of, I guess, both the the depths and the uh, infer. The, Inferno and its ruler. That was actually a really interesting fight. I actually like that one a lot. So, yeah. Oh, man. I thought I could get to the... I thought I could get to, like, my little menu thing in there. I guess not. Oh, well. So, yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as find me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RMG Kim Kids, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all... Next time.